Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Fun Stuff Friday and we're going to take a look at these wonderful Nioni colored pencils. It is a 120 count of colored pencils and they are very pretty. Um, I have gone through and I have used a few of them, gone through and sharpened some and did a comparison between these wonderful pencils and the Mark Art and we will take a look at that information after we do the swatch. So I hope you're all ready for this. It's going to be a little bit of a time um, because you know what happens with that. So grab your coffee, sit down, relax and enjoy the swatch. All right guys, I will be right back. Thank you. 
Okay, so that wasn't so bad now, was it? So we have this wonderful 120 set of colored pencils and as you saw on the swatch, they are absolutely gorgeous colors. And of course we have the wonderful art inside the box. It has a wonderful embossing on the box, which is really nice. It has a little plastic protector for the pencils. And we have three lovely, lovely trays of pencils. Now I did have a bit of an issue um, swatching the greens and that's why all a lot of the greens are sharpened because when I was trying to compare them and do the swatch and that sort of thing, um, I found the greens were a little scratchy. So I went through and I sharpened them and um, tested them again and they weren't as bad but that's a normal thing every once in a while with greens I don't know why so on the back of the box is of course your chrome color the Nioni brand as well as somewhere that you can get some more information um, which is Nioni.cn Nioni.cn and I did go there and I found out all sorts of information about this company and this company is a subsidiary of a bunch of different companies. Um, the, the Nioni brand is the only one that does colored pencils out of that group of, of companies but it was very interesting to read up on it so if you have a few minutes and you and you want to find out more about the brand um, as well as the pencils and that sort of thing you can definitely look it up with that website I like that I like the fact that they have a website that you can research the brand that to me is quality they were not expensive. They were actually quite inexpensive for a 120 set of this quality. And comparative to the Mark Art, about, uh, I think they were um, just double the price of the Mark Art. And the Mark Arts were only 48 pencils. This is 120. I think they came to 
just over fifty dollars I'll have to look hold on a sec let's go and take a look of course I did buy these on Aliexpress um, because they are not available on Amazon the only ones that I did find on Amazon was a 72 count and I only found one and they were extremely extremely expensive like to a point where there's just no way okay so for this set yes it was 5725 with shipping and it got to me in about 10 15 days so for for AliExpress and coming from China that's pretty good but like I said it has three lovely trays there's and I did swatch them in the order that they come in the trays they are numbered but they are not named so I'm going to take one of them here and I'm going to show you on the other camera let's go up to the close-up here so they do have painting colored pencil and then this little code here which is the N8520 and then the Naomi brand the little bands um, painting oiliness so that means colored pencil oil colored pencil and then the color number now what I was saying about the comparison to mark art there's that train again <sighs> seems that train knows my recording schedule every day same time you'd think I'd change my recording schedule because you know that the trains going to be there every day at that time okay so we have the Nioni color chart here I'm going to switch you back over to the main camera and we have you know our reds into our peaches pinky colors skin tones into our yellows into our oranges into our greens and this is where the greens started getting a little scratchy in the dark greens and into the dark blues so I have gone through and I have um, sharpened those pencils the ones that I found really really scratchy and used them on a coloring page and they they seem to calm down quite a bit, bit after I sharpen them and use them for a bit uh, so we go into our blues into our light blues and our aquatic blue, green blue we've got a wonderful pastel mint green blue there uh, into our purples and then into our gold and brown colors um, these ones here I'm not sure why they put them down here this purple I would rather have up there same with the the red uh, but it does go through quite a few of the reds into the browns into the tan colors into our grays our warm grays and then into our cool grays it has a really really good selection of gray and black and that sort of coloring which is really really awesome now for the for the interesting part of things this is the mark art color chart now I have the gold here right in front of me and on the mark art and I'm going to switch you over to the other camera so that you can see this close up so on the mark art color swatch chart here it has number 73 as gold this is the Nioni gold pencil and it is number 73 sorry about that my phone is going off and whoever it is can leave me a message <laughs> sorry about that so we've got the painting oiliness and then the Nioni number and the Nioni color number for for this gold pencil is number 73 exactly the same as the mark art gold pencil 
Now we're going to go into the Mark Art pencils here. Just give me a second. I gotta find them. There we go. And we're going to pull the gold pencil. And we're going to do a bit of a comparison. Since I already have the gold pencil out for the Nioni. Now I did go through and every single one of the Mark Art numbers are the exact same numbers as the Nioni. So I've got these lined up on the ends. The difference on the ends, if you can see, is the Mark Art's color numbers, their font is different. Their banding is a little bit higher up. This part of the pencil, the Made in China Expert, is different. This part is the same. The only difference is, is the M8606 and the N8520. So what that tells me is that these were made in the exact same factory and they have product codes stamped on their pencils for which set they should be going into. Now the Mark Art Barrel, as you can see with these pencils on next to each other and on top of each other, I'll put them flat on the counter here. As you can see, this pencil is smaller than this pencil in width. I did have my husband measure the cores and the cores of these pencils are exactly the same size. So the Nioni pencil has less wood than the Mark Art pencil. The only difference between them is the outer casing, their color number as well as their color are exactly the same. Um, I have gone through each and every one of these mark arts and all of them l line up to the color chart uh, for the Nioni colored pencils. Um, coloring, looking at the color chart compared to the Nioni pencils, they are identical. They are not the same company. Um, there was nothing on the Nioni website whatsoever that involved mark art. So even though they are made in the same factory, they're not the same company. Um, I don't know if Mark Art, you know, went to the, the manufacturer and said, okay, I want this, this, and this, and they just gave them Nioni co colored pencils or uh, if Nioni has a subsidiary that they don't have listed on their website, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But the Mark Art definitely are the same as the Nioni pencils. The only difference is the Mark Art is thicker in the barrel. It has more wood. The cores are exactly the same size. They were measured. They are identically sized and the um, product code here on the Mark Art is different than the product code here on the Naoni. But the important thing is this part right here and they're identical. So for all of you people out there that bought the Mark Art colored pencils or for all of those people out there that want Nioni colored pencils but can't get them um, because you don't want to buy off of AliExpress or um, you can't afford to buy off of AliExpress, that sort of thing, buy the Mark Arts. You will get 48 of the Nioni pencils and uh, it will give you the ability to test them out and see if you like them. So 
that is my conclusion between Naomi and Markart to a point where I have put them in the exact same sheet. I put the Naomi on one side and Markart on the other side because as far as I'm concerned they're identical. The Markart will be back up for the Naomi. Okay so that that's all done. <laughs> With that being said um, the colors that are in the Naomi pencils are absolutely gorgeous. It comes with a wonderful little sharpener. I have not tried because it's a hand sharpener and you know me and hand sharpeners we just don't get along. It does look like a very good, good sharpener though. It has a replaceable blade. Anything that has a screw in it like this you can find replacement blades for them. It's just a basic run-of-the-mill sharpener. It doesn't have the company logo on it or anything. But the eraser does have a sheet, a wrap around sheet with Naomi eraser on it. Okay. I don't know why I'm out of breath today. I think my allergies have gotten me fighting for air. <laughs> I seem to be fighting for air today. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to put the tin up here and we're going to take the color swatch and we're going to take a look at our little picture here. So I'm going to put my, my solid board under it so that I can color without making too much of a mess of it. And we're going to take some wonderful pencils and we're going to color some fishies. Okay, so I think we need, oh, let's see. Let's do some orange fishies. So, uh, and like I said, I have done some testing on these pencils. Um, and I have started a coloring with them because I wanted to try and make sure that they were the same as the Mark Art before I opened my big mouth and I was wrong. Um, <laughs> but they color the same. Uh, up here is our Mark Art swatch. So I will try to incorporate those colors in as well so that we can take a look and see if they're fairly close. But as far as I'm concerned, and I did do a bit of a blend with them, and you couldn't really tell where the Mark Art stopped and where the Naomi started so and I did that on Friday last week when they came in because I wanted to test them out and so many people were saying that the Mark Art and the Naomi were exactly the same and sure enough they are right Okay, so we've got some pinks and some dark pinks up here. So let's do the rest of the body. We'll start with our salmon colors and then we'll work down into our pinks. And I'm sharpening the ones that I haven't already sharpened. So we'll take a look at the sharpening. They are really, really well centered. They are beautifully centered. The mark arts were really nicely centered too. It did have an odd one that was a little bit off, but not too too horrible. So I'm just gonna color this a wonderful little fishy. And we're going to color it with multiple colors. So I've got the... Oh dear, I've made a mess. <laughs> I knocked things around. So I've got the, the orange there and then the light pinky peach color. Then we're going to go into a darker peach color. And then we'll go into a, a salmon pink. And then a dark pink on its tail and its fins. So once again, 
beautifully sharpened, didn't break, and wonderfully centered. And I'm going to go into the tips of these ones so that I can blend it in. So it looks like it's a continuous progression of color. Let's not color the leaf though. I hope everybody has had a really good week. It's been a bit of a long one for me, but it's a good week. I've had lots and lots of wonderful things come in that are just absolutely lovely. I think I'm I think I'm liking Ally Express, which I didn't think I'd ever say that. <laughs> They have so many pretty things on it. I could get into lots of trouble if I had uh, more money and if I if my husband would let me put my money in my PayPal account. <laughs> I know that's horrible, isn't it? I do apologize. My dog is deciding that she's got a hairball to hack up. And I'm going to check that because I think my autofocus is on. Because it keeps on going in and out of focus on me. So I will check that here in just a moment. Wonderful pink fishy. I know, an all color for a fish, but I'm trying to uh, incorporate a few of the colors that we used in the other picture there so that we can compare the two. Now I'm going to. Take this pink. Just going to bring it down into the tail a little bit. Same with into the fin a little bit. And then we're going to go back to the start color. And we're just going to blend that in. And they do blend beautifully. I don't think I need to use a blender pencil, but I will at least use the white. No, I'll use the blender pencil if I can find it. Because they do blend really, really nicely with the blender pencil as well. But I have to locate it. I went and stuck it in, into the bins here and you know what happens to things that get stuck in the bin. Lost forever. Alright, which one's this one? Alright, so I'll blend it with the Derwent because it's an oil. I, I, I like my other one better, but the Derwent will work. One of the things that I did notice about um, these pencils is some of them do give off quite a bit of dust, so make sure that your duster brush is available, depending upon how much pressure you put on it. So if, you do, if you're heavy handed with your pencils, make sure that your brush is handy. If you are a layerer, you may find that uh, after a few layers you start getting some lift off. 
so be careful with that depending upon how thick your uh, your papers tooth is and stuff like that so I'm just going to check and make sure that uh, the autofocus isn't on because I think it is and it is sorry about that guys Just gonna put that in focus there for you. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize that the autofocus was on. So anytime I moved, it was doing this woo 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 thing. <laughs> All right, so we've used the pinks and the light pinks, and they're pretty much dead on for these two. So this next fish will use some blues. And I don't remember exactly what colors we used on the blues, so I will uh, use a couple of different colors. So I'll use these three colors for that blue fish there, and this one here for his little face. So we're going to color his little face with this aquatic kind of blue color. And then we'll move down with the lightest to the darkest, the same as we did the pink fish. I also have um, some more metallics coming in that haven't arrived yet. Can't wait until they get here. And I'll have a full set of the 20 Derwent Metallics. And they do have the full 20 set on Amazon. I know because I did have it on my wish list. But it's under a different seller, so I didn't see it when I bought the smaller set. So I could have had the full 20, <laughs> but I didn't buy them. <coughs> because I didn't think they were the same thing, but they are. They are exactly the same. Now, of course, make sure you don't go over your plant life there. Take your darker blue and touch it into that lighter blue a little bit. And this is how we get progressive scales. I'm not really good at it, but it always looks cool. <laughs> some people are just really, really, really good at it. I have seen some people make scales that look like they're ready to move. Not me. I can't do it. Like I said, I'm not really, really good at some things. I do try and I do my best to learn as much as I can. And I slowly learn. But that's a part of our coloring journey, right? Is learning as we go. I'm just going to take this dark blue and touch it on the tail as well as the fin there. Then we're going to take that light blue and we're just going to join it all together here. Now, if I remember correctly, up here I just blended with the lighter color. So we're going to try that with these. So we'll start down here. And we'll bring it down into the light blue. And then down into the medium blue and then down into the darker blue and then back down into the tail and that works really nicely too but in my humble opinion in my honest opinion 
these are absolutely gorgeous pencils and uh, pretty much identical to the Mark Art. Well, they are identical to the Mark Art. Um, I don't know why they rebranded them for the U.S. or if it's a different company that's using their, their product to sell to the U.S. or what, but it's nice to have them available, which is really cool. And that's, that's the main thing that, I, that I'm taking away from this is that it's really good to have that option available to us. However, you know, another side of that is if they are taking from an actual company that has spent years building up their customer base and building up their product base, that really sucks in itself too. So I don't know if it's the company rebranding for the market or if it's somebody that has decided, okay, I really like these and they're not available in the US so let's make them available in the US and buy a big stock of them and rebrand them because they had to spend a lot of money to do that branding and like I said they have the same markings the same code um, numbering on the the colored pencil side on the side that says colored pencil as the Naomi so that tells me that uh, I'm pretty sure that they're made in the same factory so it could very well be that Naomi um, rebranded for the market as a test see if people would buy them I don't know and with having them on Ally Express and you know all of the US um, reviews that I saw you would think that they would have full understanding that yeah we we would buy them here in the US because they are a good pencil at a reasonable price and their their pencil name is known here so why they would have chose to brand it to a name that nobody knows I don't know it sounds silly to me but people do silly things all the time right I'm really sorry about my breathing guys I, I don't know why I'm so out of breath today I think allergies are kicking in spring has sprung and it's in the air and I don't want to breathe it anymore so I'm just adding some greens here and I'm not being very neat about it obviously These little leaves are really tiny. My hand's probably in your guys' way. But like I said, um, the greens, some of them are a little scratchy, but I've heard that from a lot of different sets. Um, I find that with my higher quality sets I don't have scratchy greens I just don't um, but once you sharpen them and get going on them it's not as bad as it is from the start um, like I said it's 
one of those things that uh, does happen with colored pencils. The level of pigment in the darker pencils gets a little high for melting down that pigment. So you get the odd little piece that sticks around. And once again, I do apologize, my phone is going off, but it will leave a message if it's important. Okay, and I'll do the rocks in this lovely warm brown color, warm gray color, I should say. And then we will, of course, put our shadows into it. This is a really pretty color. It's a, in between a little bit of a pink and a brown and a gray all at once. It's really, really nice. I like this color. And of course, as you probably remember from the last picture that we colored with during Monday, Collection Monday Mania. I colored all these little rocks with the uh, liquid pearls and made them all pearls. It looked really cool. And this time we'll just use color pencils instead to do it. Okay, so we've added the rock colors. Now we're going to take a darker one and give it a sharpen. Then we'll add some shadows and do the water and add some do the bubbles and stuff. And then we will compare and see how they do. Personally, I think these are right up there with the Uni, uh, Mitsubishi Uni colored pencils um, in their quality and their lay down. They're almost as good as the Faber Castell, almost. Paper Castell, you can get a couple more layers out of. Some of the colors uh, could be a little bit higher in saturation. But like I said, their lay down is nice and smooth. You don't hear it scratching on the paper. which is always a good thing. And then we have our rocks. And we're going to color in this area below the rocks because the seabed is there. Now, where is that really pretty, 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 pretty light green? Uh, number 57, yes. Hmm. So we're going to do a combination of number 56 and number 57. Number 57 is a very light, almost a mint green. 
you know, that baby minty green color, which I just absolutely love. I don't know why, but I've always liked this color. I colored, or painted, I should say, both of my kids' rooms this color. My youngest, we did it this color in yellow. I think it's a perfect color for, for a baby's room, especially when you don't know if you're having a boy or a girl. It is, however, a very, very pastel light color. So when you're coloring with it, you got to remember to put in your shadows and your darker colors to make it stand out a little bit. Otherwise, you don't see it very well. To me, it's absolutely fantastic color because I can see it really well <laughs> because I'm up close and personal with it. Now we're going to take number 56 which is a little bit deeper of a blue green color instead of a green blue this has got a blue green so we're going to blend those in together into these darker areas these shadowy areas create that illusion of depth because the light will be up closer to the surface which will be that lighter grainy blue color and then down here in the depths it'll be this darker blue green color Hope everybody has some good safe plans for the weekend. I don't know what we're doing. I think we're just gonna do what we have been doing all year and stay home and relax. And of course I've got uh, our wonderful Sunday Sunday color and chat or color along and we're going to be coloring the ducklings. So that'll be fun. I hope everybody can join Davisa and I while we do that. Just adding a bit of the shadow here around this plant. As well as up in here. Under the fish. And when I opened these, I didn't get any odor or anything out of them either, so that was really good. Sometimes you get a weird odor out of your colored pencils when you open them. And that's just a bit of chemical um, paint residue smell from the coloring of the barrels and that sort of thing. Okay, and there we have our wonderful little fishies with the Naomi colored pencils. And they did absolutely beautifully as expected. Sometimes I, I expect it to do really really well and sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't 
these ones I expected to do really really well and and when I first started using them and got into the greens which was on the first tray and second tray I really wasn't sure that uh, I was going to enjoy them but as I moved further into the into the trays and then did these the sharpening and coloring with them a little bit more and got some of that um, scratchiness off of them the more I like them now I am not absolutely positive on this it is my opinion that there may be a coating on the colored pencils so when you when you color with them you may find that it is a lot better to sharpen them first before coloring with them I the reason why I do it directly out of the box onto a, a swatch sheet is because most of these colored pencil companies that sell their pencils pre-sharpened give you the impression that they are available and ready to be used immediately on opening the box. Um, I want to make sure that they are correct in that assumption. So if you're assuming that they're already sharpened I should be able to color with them. You can however you're going to find few of them are really scratchy and some of them have a very light pigmentation this is the coating that's on them it's not thick it's not like it's a you know a gray coating on them is a very very thin layer that's preserving that core so my personal opinion is to make sure that you sharpen them uh, before you use them if you're like me and like to be able to swatch straight out of the box just to make sure that you can by all means do your swatch but if you're going straight from the box to a coloring please sharpen them first it will give you a much better coloring experience and a much more vibrant color okay guys um, with that that concludes our Nioni uh, swatch and review in my opinion these are one of the best um, budget friendly 120 sets that I've come across in a while um, the Mark Arts and the Nionis as far as I'm concerned they're the same pencil if you can get a hold of the Mark Art on Amazon for really cheap do so because for a 120 set on um, Ally Express, it's $57 with shipping. So the entire bill was $57 with shipping. So, which isn't bad for a 120 set nowadays, to be honest. You know, a really cheapo set that, you know, 120 set that I sent back was almost $50. And I sent those back because they were horrible. So, <laughs> you know, personally, I think $50 for a really good set like this is, is a really good deal. Um, if they were not very nice and you had to order them all, the, all from China and you didn't like them at all and, and had to send them back, that might be more of an, an issue. The one thing I do like about Ally Express is that you can send them back. It's not going to cost you to send them back. They give you the um, shipping label and everything else to send them back. So if you have a problem with a order that you have on Ally Express, they do give you prote uh, purchase protection. So if you don't receive your order or if your order isn't what you thought it was going to be or to your satisfaction unlike wish or you know other things like that they give you a little bit of protection where they will you know give you the um, shipping ability to send them back wish does have that as well but not as quick or as good as Ally Express and they may be the same company a lot of people tell me they're all the same company and that that's very possible but um, I find that the so far the um, 
practices of assisting a customer and that sort of thing has been top notch with Ally Express. I had a couple of problems with one set that I did have have to send back and when I get it back because I did order a new one because there was nothing color wise wrong with the pencils one pencil was split so I had to send them back but that is for another day <laughs> um, of course, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, leave me a comment in the comment section below um, of things that you want to see, things you enjoyed seeing, that sort of thing. Of course, remember to um, hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I, I do appreciate all my subscribers. Um, hit the bell you know I do put out a video every day so make sure you hit the bell it does uh, give you notification of when I go live or when I put out a new video I do go live on Wednesdays and Saturdays so tomorrow I will be live doing the Saturday color along with the visit from DJ's colorful escape and we will be coloring with this square brute funer colored pencils on the project that we started last weekend. Um, what else was I going to talk to you about? I think that's about it. Thank you all so much for joining me. Of course, you know, if you want to join us over on the Facebook book group, please make sure that you fill out the application. That means uh, filling out the four or five, three or four little questions. This is to protect our group and our members from different scams and stuff like that that's going on on Facebook. They don't like filling out application questions, so if you don't fill it out, we don't accept you in. Last and absolutely not least whatsoever is remember to relax, color, and stay safe. And I will see you again shortly because I still have to review the other set of colored pencils that I got. So please stay tuned for that. Otherwise, relax, color, and stay safe. Alright guys, bye bye for now.